Welcome to a video on dynamic drop down list in Excel. In this video, we shall look at two methods to create a dynamic drop down list using Excel. In the first method, we have product category under column A, and under column C, we are going to create our dynamic drop down list. First of all, let's create a table out of column A by selecting cells A1 to A4. Click on Insert, click on Table. We have to check the box My Table Has Headers. It's already checked. Click on OK. So we've created a table. The next step is to create dynamic drop-down list. Let's select cell C2 to C4. Click on Data. Click on Data Validation. Under Settings, under the option Allow, let's expand the drop-down and select List. Against the source, let's click on this button. Select cells A2 to A4. Click on this button to close the dialog box and click on OK. Now we can see that there's a drop down here and we can see the three options as shown here. Let's click the next cell. We have three options as shown here. Let's now try adding one more category. Let's say electronics. Let's check whether electronics appears in the drop down menu. We can see that electronics appears automatically in this drop down menu. So we've created a dynamic drop down list using the first method. Now let's look at the second method. In the second method, we shall use the unique function to create product category from the data tab. So let me type equals unique, start parenthesis, go to the data tab. Let's select all the cells in the product category. So select the first cell, then press Control, Shift and down arrow. Enter a closing parenthesis here and click on Enter. So using the unique function, we have created product category. Now let's create a dynamic drop down list. Select these cells, click on Data, click on Data Validation. Under Settings, under the Allow option, expand the drop down and choose list. For selecting the source, let's click on this button. Select cell E1 and after that, let's type hash. By typing a hash, we are going to select everything that appears below the cell E1. Let's close this dialog box by clicking here and click on OK. Now, let's click on the drop down list here and we can select product category and from here, we can choose any of the options. Let's check whether this new drop down list is dynamic. For that, let's go to the data tab and let me change the last value of category from office supplies to say electronics. We can see that electronics has been added automatically here and let's check the drop down menu now. We can see that electronics has been added automatically. So we have successfully created another dynamic drop down list using the unique function and the data validation utility in Excel. Hope you found this video useful. If you like this video, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and colleagues. Please do watch the other videos in our channel. And if you love our videos, please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you get notified when we publish our next video. Thank you very much. See you again with yet another video. Please visit our website paddycosmos.com. Have a good day.